morning, 37 degrees out, no problem. 11 to 1 compression, 425 horse. She's awesome. Welcome to Rumble's parking lot. Uncle Jim here. So, I got this Durango. Been sitting for, I don't know, probably six, seven months. I had a fuel pump that went bad in it. And, uh, so I replaced the fuel pump. It ran great. Now, every time I fire it up, it'll only run for like 10 minutes or so, maybe 15. Dies. Let it sit for an hour hour and a half fire right back up. I put a code reader on it and it says that it's the ignition uh, module. Well, so I priced one. $235. So I decided I'm not going to fix on that because if you pull the distributor out, that's where they say that the ignition module is in. It's right in the middle of the distributor. But I've got to move it so they can do some work on the parking lot today. So, I got my spaghetti sauce jar of coffee. I got my vice grip on the battery. I got the cables on the man van. So, uh, lights on, as Uncle Derek would say, bring the thunder. So I might have to take a second take on that, but I won't. So we'll take Gander over here. And I guess uh, we'll show you the old tin Indian. So I've been, as all of you know, I already showed you the video of the, you know, the 30 second video where I painted it. She's white. So, I painted it with one of those, well not one. I painted it with I think seven cans of Rust-Oleum Turbo. And it turned out good. I mean, it, you know, considering. But here's, you know, it was starting to get dark. Look at all these zebra stripes in the hood. So I gotta fix that, you know. I still gotta fix this yet, and my body work here isn't perfect, but you know, I wasn't trying to make the car perfect. You know, the fenders aren't lined up great, but all right, I don't know how this happened. The intention was, and I didn't have enough paint to, to, to finish the roof either, but the intention was, is with the red primer, you know, I was gonna take some 300 grit and just kinda, you know, kinda bleed it through. The, the red primer to, to give it to give it that appearance that it's been sitting for like 30 years in, in a under a tree or in a field you know baking in the sun you know but uh, there really wasn't a whole lot of runs in the paint though which is okay but here's what I wanted was I don't even know how this happened but I got these permanent stains in the paint that are underneath the door handle there. That's awesome. You know, there was a couple holes here in the rear quarter panel. You can see where the Bondo is, you know. It's not perfect. It's okay. I like it. 
you know, here, there's stains here, you know. Oh, there we go. There's stains there. The fenders aren't lined up perfect. You can see my bad body work in the fender there to kind of fix the, you know, the rust hole, you know. Uh, I should sand on this and make this better, you know. Well, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Um, you know, there's blotches in the bumper there where it's not perfect. You know, there's everywhere. You know, I broke this a couple of years ago. The body works bad, you know. Uh, you can see again here where, you know, that's, none of that is good. That's not good. But, you know, really the only runs are, I think it's in this door. I don't know, it's too wet. Maybe it's on the other side. I'm not sure. You know, there's a there's a hole right here that uh, I fixed with uh, Bondo aluminum tape, fiberglass, more Bondo. You know, there's more stains right here that run off the car on the back. It's cool. I don't know how it happened, but it's awesome. Oh, the runs are on this side. right there so once I got you know the, the the spray can a little bit further away and I figured out how to do it those are about the only runs I got in the car so maybe I can wet sand that and kind of you know kind of bring them down a little bit and psh, 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 a little bit more but probably not but in here I do got to tape off on the windows you know and make that better but yeah not right now And I'll finish painting the roof white because it looks stupid with that big of a spot not covered. But uh, it's a cool car and I enjoy it. But here's the biggest problem with it. It's got a pretty big cam in it, you know, it's maybe only 425 horse. It's got a turbo 400 with a stock converter, 273 gears. You pull up to a stop sign in this thing, if you don't put it in neutral, it's <laughs> fucking jerks you around like, uh, it jerks you around like it's got a 671 roots blower on it, you know? That ain't cool. So, uh, Durango's got no power steering and I gotta move it so I'll catch up with you in a minute I mean, it runs good it runs really good it's got it's got 225,000 miles on it and it runs like a top but it just You know, it's a 20 year old car with way too many miles on it. Shut her off, it'll probably fire back up. You know, it's just. It's got too many miles to worry about putting a $225 ignition module in it. I mean, and maybe that's not even it, but I've had this thing five years. I put this old girl through the ringer. I called up a buddy of mine that owns a local junkyard. And uh, he's going to come take it off my hands for me. Now, let me give you fellers a schooling and body work 101. That, that right there, that's good. That's what you want to do. Spray foam, aluminum tape, it does wonders. That's just weight reduction to go faster. This is, you know, we'll just fix that so, you know, 
we'll fold we'll fold this back over so if you know my buddy that gets this if that owns the junk here if he happens to uh you know if he happens to sell it you know we'll just push this back so they won't be fooled you know that so that rear quarter panel still looks good they won't be fooled by that you know and maybe i should put some you know right here and then spray some black over that again that way whoever gets it next pasta coffee cup that way whoever gets it next they're not going to be fooled they're going to think they got themselves a real gem but uh i guess that's all i got for today so uh thanks for watching later this old girl here she needs body mounts and i'm pretty sure that they're they're the original 1970 don't be scared of it, guys. I'll show you how to do it right now. It's real easy. Real easy. Now, the most important part of this is uh, make sure you give your body mounts a real good just a real good shape, alright? Just a real, real, real good shape. And, uh... Now... Now, after you give them a real good shake there, you just kind of, you know, ease it on there, you know? Try not to get it all over your, you know, new... See, now, see what I'm, oh, there we go, you're missing all of it. See, you just, you just ease her on there. And, uh, man, you know, See how easy that was? Man. See, just like that. I got brand new body mounts. Don't let it intimidate you. It's good. It's easy. So, uh, if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, and, uh, sorry for lying to you earlier when I said that was all I had for today. All right. Have a good one.